When the traditional tactical missile meets the flexibility of rocket artillery, who is the real king of the future battlefield? In early 2025, China's National Defense Military program unveiled a shocking answer, the 750mm diameter BRE-10 rocket with a range of 500 kilometers, 10-meter accuracy and strong platform compatibility. The new ammunition mounted on PHL-191 long-range rocket launcher not only redefines the boundary of fire support, but also lets the world find out that the seemingly bulky rocket launcher system is accomplishing the downward strike on tactical missiles. The emergence of this disruptive weapon system has not only completely rewritten the tactical rules of land-based fire support, but also provoked a chain reaction in the situation in the Taiwan Straits the regional strategic balance and even the global arms development pattern. Since its debut in 2019, the PHL-191 rocket launcher has planted the seeds of a technological revolution with its modular design concept. The unique design of the launchers, dual modular storage and transportation launch box, is like putting an interchangeable ammunition box on the artillery system, which allows the operator to switch from 300 mm to 750 mm ammunition in just 20 minutes. This revolutionary design in the BRE-10 rockets on the ultimate embodiment, when the launcher loaded with two 750 mm giant rockets, the system is transformed into a strategic strike platform with a range of 500 kilometers. Change the eight joint 370 mm ammunition, it is transformed into a range of 220 kilometers of the battle level fire unit, if fully loaded with 30 rounds of 300 mm rockets, but also instantly poured out to cover the area of three soccer fields of the steel rain. In contrast, although the Russian Iskander missile system has a similar road mobility, but its 9M723 missile launcher can only specialize in loading two missiles, this special vehicle only. Characteristics of its firepower density and mission flexibility is completely at a disadvantage. The BRE-10's technological breakthroughs go far beyond platform compatibility. This type of rocket adopts the composite guidance system of by the three generations plus laser gyro inertial guidance plus end infrared imaging and can even receive real-time correction instructions from UAVs through the data chain at the end of the flight. This multi-mode guidance technology enables it to maintain 10 meters SEP accuracy while having strong survivability against GPS interference. More amazing is its power system innovation, the use of segmented solid fuel engine and aerodynamic rudder design in flight by adjusting the combustion chamber pressure to achieve the ballistic change. This originally belongs to the ballistic missile technology decentralization, making the BRE-10 able to carry out more than 20 times of ballistic maneuvering and effectively avoid anti-missile interception. On the contrary, the Iskander missile proud of the snake maneuver breakout technology, the frequency and magnitude of its maneuver has fallen behind, and the U.S. military attacks tactical missiles fixed trajectory mode in front of the BRE-10 even more obvious obsolescence. The breakthrough in cost control is also of strategic significance, BRE-10 through the large-scale use of civilian-grade composite materials, standardized guidance components and intelligent production line, the single-issue cost compression to the level of $150,000 US dollars, only one-fifth of the Dongfeng 15B ballistic missiles. This cabbage price means of high-precision strikes so that the PLOS synthetic brigades can be equipped with a 48-class long-range precision munitions base on a regular basis, while the number of Iskander missiles in the hands of the Russian Army group-level units usually does not exceed 36. The cost advantage is not only a quantitative improvement, but also a change in operational thinking, when Tyvan's Patriot positions, which cost $400 million to build, face a saturation attack with 48 BRE-10S, the defender's cost exchange ratio will be completely out of balance. This economic advantage in the Russian Ukrainian battlefield has been brutally verified. The US Army using a unit price of $1.2 million attacking missiles to combat the Russian Army, worth $500,000 S 300 radar station, often need to withstand enormous economic pressure, and the BRE 10 to create a 15 to 1 cost advantage will completely rewrite this game equation. From the perspective of global military change, the emergence of the BRE-10 marks the ultimate form of the trend towards missilization of long-range rockets. This new type of weapon, which combines the firepower of rocket artillery, the precision of missile strikes, 
and the economy of artillery systems is blurring the boundaries of traditional weapon categorization. The U.S. military to cope with this challenge, the urgent launch of the Strategic Long Range Artillery Project to try to develop 1,000 nautical miles range of super artillery, but caught in the technical bottleneck and cost quagmire, Russia, although accelerating the development of the Tornado S rocket extended range type, but its 250 kilometers range and 30 meters SEP accuracy in front of the BRE 10 dwarfed. More meaningful is that China's military industry does not position BRE 10 as the ultimate solution, but will be included in the smart munitions family system. Test data show that this type of rocket has the ability to tactical synergy with the attack drone swarms. Roving bombs can be realized in the same fire unit. BRE-10 broken plus drone the killing chain of BRE-10 breaking the door plus drones replenishing the gun can be realized within the same fire unit. In this quiet military revolution, the most profound change is at the tactical level. The combination of the PHL-191 and BRE-10 has given PLA synthetic brigades a long-range precision strike capability comparable to that of group artillery brigades, and this proliferation of tacticalization of strategic capabilities is reshaping the modern army establishment. A forward-deployed synthetic battalion can now command 122 mm howitzers for fire support, up to 5 km and mobilize BRE-10S for decapitation operations up to 500 kilometers deep. A vertical integration of cross-domain strike capabilities that gives battalion-sized contingents the potential to conduct battle-level operations on their own. In contrast, the U.S. Army Striker Brigade Combat Team still relies on divisional artillery to provide more than 30 kilometers of fire support, a generational difference that may have fatal consequences in future system confrontations. In the face of the paradigm change, brought about by the BRE-10, the international military community has begun to re-examine the shape of war in the era of cheap precision strike, when a $150,000 rocket can achieve the combat effectiveness of a million-dollar missile. The quality advantage traditionally established by high-tech weapons is being swept away by the flood of quantity. This trend has already begun to emerge in the NACA conflict, where Azerbaijan used cheap Turkish TB-2 drones to systematically destroy Armenia's expensive air defense system, and the combination of BRE-10 and drones will magnify this asymmetric advantage to the strategic level. It is worth thinking about is that China's military industry, in the breakthrough of technical limits at the same time, always maintain the overall vision of systems engineering. BRE-10 is not only a single weapon innovation, but also intelligent manufacturing plus system integration plus tactical innovation, trinity of products. The integration of this cross-generation of weapons may be China's military science and technology is really a daunting competitive advantage. This integration ability across the generation of weapons may be the real competitive advantage of China's military science and technology.